I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about batteries. I get a lot of questions about this, so I thought I'd take a few minutes and kind of explain what's going on with choosing a battery and what you need to know about it to make it work correctly. Uh, most of the proton pack kits, for example, that you see today uh, off to tell you that there's a supply range of anywhere from 7 to 14 volts or something like that. It'll also always recommend you do not use a 9 volt battery. So I'm going to tell you why. This is a 9 volt battery. This is a pack that holds 6 AA batteries. This is also 9 volts. What's the difference? There's two main differences. The first is in the capacity of the battery how much energy the battery can actually store. The second is how much current the battery can supply to whatever you're trying to power. So I like to think of it like this. Voltage is the uh, explanation of the difference in potential between two points. So let's say we have a container of water. The height of the container in this case is the voltage. In this case, we're talking about 9 volts. That's a nine volt, standard 9 volt battery, and we'll place that there. My 6 AA battery holder is also 9 volts. So the height is still 9 volts, is the same. The difference, the first difference, is in the capacity of the battery. So in this case, if I'm using my water tank analogy, it's how much water fits in the tank. This is much smaller than this. It's not just because of physical size, it also has to do with chemical makeup and a few other things. But normally battery capacity is rated in something called milliamp hours. So most 9 volts are in the 300 to 500 milliamp hour range. So we'll just call this 350 milliamp hours. This kind of a 9 volt battery, this pack with the double A's, is going to be probably about three times that. So we'll say 1.1 amp hours or 1100 milliamp hours. So that's the first thing. Much more capacity in this. So if you were driving the same thing from either one of these, this is going to last much longer. But the second piece of it that actually is more critical in most of the applications that we're discussing, especially with the proton packs, is in how much current each battery pack is able to deliver. And that's important, especially when you're talking about things that have sound, because those amplifiers that drive the audio portion of it require a lot of current. So if you want to imagine this is a water tank, the size of the drain in this case, basically tells you this is the maximum amount of flow out of it that we can have. And current is basically the rate at which the energy is able to, to transfer, the rate of flow of the charge. A battery pack like this has a much larger figurative drain. So a lot more current or water can actually flow out of this battery pack as opposed to this. This is the biggest thing you need to worry about is, is this able to supply enough current for enough time for me to power what I need to power? Because if everything was equal, this would last three times longer than this. But you also have the ability to deliver more current. This is what matters. And what happens if you're trying to use a battery like this that can't deliver as much out of the drain? So what happens is if you have a load that's trying to pull the water out of the drain, like let's say we had a pump, what would happen to a container of water if I tried to pull more water out of it at a rate faster than this is able to provide? If this was a container, you would see the container starts to pull a vacuum and collapses. When that collapses, the height of this changes, which means now the potential is not as great. So if I try to draw more current from this battery than it's able to deliver, this voltage here will actually drop. And you'll see that in a lot of cases. You might not even realize what's happening. You'll see your electronics will start to misbehave. They'll do some very strange things. The lights will freeze. The sound will skip. Uh, the whole thing will crash until that uh, heavy load is taken off of it. So when you're choosing your battery for whatever you're trying to power, you want to make sure that it has the right voltage, 
of suitable capacity and that it's able to deliver the amount of current you need. So for most applications, especially with the proton packs, a nine volt is not a good choice unless it's only the lights. If it's just LEDs, uh, like my basic light only kit, this is fine. If you're trying to run sound, you're gonna need something much bigger. Another popular choice are the lithium rechargeable battery packs. Um, they're, they work quite well. They have an even bigger storage capacity. They're going to be three times or five times the size of this. They are also able to supply a very large amount of current instantaneously if they need to. So when you're in an application using a proton pack or any other heavy electronics, you're going to want to use a battery pack that is sized appropriately for your load. So that's all I was going to share for today. Hope this is kind of helpful and gives a little bit of understanding into why 9 volt batteries are not a good choice in most cases unless it's a very small load like just a few LEDs and why you would want to use something larger.